McCoys. That whole clan, that whole fighting shit, I'm actually related to the McCoy side. And I believe there's a few family members that were Hatfield. I'm not sure. I have to go look back. But that, my cousin, who's a professor, he's a Mormon. He's a professor in Salt Lake, Salt Lake City at the big Mormon church or whatever the fuck it is. He's a big time professor. He's a well-known professor. He started doing our genealogy on my father's side. Not my mother's side. On my father's side. That's why I keep telling you motherfuckers I got, I'm Scottish on my dad's side. Uh, yeah, you got to go, crazy Frenchman. I don't want your ass in here either, dude. You're a pussy. You're a coward. So anyway, he did the whole genealogy shit from start to finish. And it has a lot of my family members. I even show, showed y'all the, uh, what's it called? Our color. <laughs> I, I can't pronounce it. Terror, tar, whatever it is. Tartan. It's Tartan, dumbass. <laughs> yeah, booty work. I mean, they're still alive. Okay, the half of the McCoys are still alive. They laugh about it. And what's funny is uh, there's a lot of intermarriage between the Hatfields and the McCoys. They laugh at it. And they're like, well, that was a long time ago. But you know what? They are very good people. If you go out there and you want to meet any McCoys or Hatfields, they're very nice people. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's some shit that happened in history. It, it, it's, it is what it is. But you can go out there, and be, they would love to talk to you and spend time with y'all and uh, and talk about their family history. Um, and, and it's funny as hell. I mean, it is what it is, you know what I mean? So, my cousin, the professor, he went all the way from where we originally came. We're descendants of the Picts who originally came into Scotland and we settled into Scotland and that's where we started. We thought it was the Earl of Bruce. Um, and I, I told, I was trying to explain that to that stupid crazy bitch out of Australia. She looked it up. Oh, it's a fucking movie. Yeah, they made a movie. Uh, what's his name? Um, Mel Gibson made it. My family was part of the family, the Peron, oh God, I'll butcher Peron, <laughs> such was the F I showed him, was part of the clan that joined the Earl of Bruce, uh, and we cited it was the Earl of Bruce as being the true king of Scotland. But my family was known as the first original outlaw kings of Scotland. Under this band, under this, oh, what's it called? Tatum, Tartum, the color of our, of our kilts, it determines who you are. But there was a lot of family, not just my family. I mean, there was over 100 different families that were part of this. Now, in Scotland, each family is a clan. And I'll get, I'll get back to you on the word clan. So... was the Earl of Bruce. He died. Macbeth. You know, the famous Macbeth. Then signed a death warrant for all of us. My family had to escape Scotland into Ireland. And then I showed a little bit where it showed my family going into Pennsylvania and New York when they escaped uh, Ireland. Because Macbeth put a, a hit on every family member that said it was the Earl of Bruce. It's a fucking known fact. Many people were murdered and executed under Macbeth's order. So, and from there, it shows my family history coming from, you know, New York, Pennsylvania, that area all the way down into what's Tennessee, uh, Virginia, uh and all that into where my grandfather was born in Boonesville, Arkansas. And then we came to Texas. Um, a lot of your real 
hillbillies like in West Virginia, uh, New York. New York has hillbillies, motherfuckers, up in the mountains, Catskill Mountains. All those mountain ranges run all the way down uh, are Scottish. Scottish descent and Irish. Uh, the thing about the Scottish and the Irish, they intermix with a lot of Native Americans. You have half breeds. But a, a lot of your real true hillbillies from Tennessee, Arkansas, West Virginia, the Carolinas, all that are Scottish or Irish descent. The original people that started the Ku Klux Clan were Irish and Scottish. So go figure. Go look at the clan and uh, their rituals. It's almost like Scottish. Scottish rituals, same thing. But the Scottish hillbillies started the Ku Klux Klan. Go bigger. So anyway, I don't brag, and I don't like talking about it, but my family's been involved in every fucking war in America. Every single one. I've had a family member in. I told you stories about my grandpa, my dad's dad, my grandpa. He fought in World War II. And he, he was on those goddamn beaches of Normandy or... Uh, I forgot what beach. He saw some heavy shit. You couldn't make loud noises around him. I told you a story about my little brother running in. Uh, my dad sent us to go get something to my, my grandma. She needed sugar or something for my grandpa's coffee because he sat there every morning at the table just drinking coffee. And my little brother, I came in, my little brother was right behind me. He's running in. My brother, who's a, who's a Louisiana state trooper, he comes coming in. My grandpa... I mean, it was already old, but he turned around to fucking knock the fuck out of my brother. My little brother was a, lot, a wire little fuck. He saw, he ducked, and then he runs out. He almost got me. He almost got me. He's running back to my dad. He almost got me. And I'm sitting there, and I'm thinking, oh, shit, my grandpa's going to knock the fuck out of me next. He just looks at me. He says, I had a flashback. My cousin, Butch, the one that's a member of a little certain club out of Florida, he died. He was a Marine. He was part of the, uh, oh, what's it called? Give me a minute. Of the Marines that went to Cambodia to liberate a French freighter that was being held by the Cambodians. He went in there to liberate that. He was also one of the last Marines on top of the U.S. Embassy. And I think I told you all the story about that. My other uncle... He was in Vietnam. He stepped on a booby trap. He didn't make it. He, his name is actually on the on the Vietnam Memorial Wall. Uh, my other uncle was in Vietnam too, and he had flashbacks, PTSD from all the bodies. He was one of the uh, army men that was right there and putting the coffins in the planes to be shipped back home, and they would have to inspect the bodies and all that. So he had a lot of flashbacks on that. So that was one. That's two. Three. Three family members and just Vietnam alone. Uh, I had a lot of uncles or cousins that fought in the Korean War. Uh, but if you go back to my family history, from the, Amer from the American Revolution, all the way to World War I, all the way to Vietnam, all the way, even now, to Afghanistan and... Um, I've had family members in it. So, people brag about that shit. I don't. They never bragged about it. They never talked about it. And you got idiots that are sitting there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for your service. Thank you. For what service, motherfuckers? You volunteered. You knew what you were getting into when you signed the goddamn dotted line, motherfuckers. The draft has been over with since 1970. Fuck you, motherfuckers. I asked one of my, my relatives, hey, we you think about them tying them yellow ribbons around the tree? You know what he said? <laughs> and it's true. Fuck that. I don't give a fuck about a ribbon. I have to go. 
I fucking, I, I can't say no. I have to go overseas and fight uh, because that's what I signed up for. So I think it's stupid. I think these motherfuckers just want their dick sucked by everybody. But oh, thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. You know what? I'll thank you for your service when you get on your knees and fucking suck my dick. It's a hell of a service there, motherfuckers. But anyway, before all you motherfuckers get all pissed off, this that's the thing that makes this country great. We have a volunteer military. Probably one of the best militaries in the fucking world. Well, you know, you got China and then you got Russia. That's the whole debate right now. Do we get involved in Ukraine? Now, my wife was Ukrainian. These wars aren't started by individual people. They're started by governments. Unfortunately for our servicemen, they have to go whether they like it or not, because that's what their fucking job is. That's what they signed up for. I know it's going to sound like shit, but it's true. So the debate now is, are we going to go to war with Russia? Are we going to go to war with China? Then the whole bullshit in the Middle East was Israel. Okay. There are so many people now against Israel and what it's doing in the genocide of the Palestinian people. Again, all government. So, who knows what the fuck is going to happen in the future. If we was to go into another World War III, every able male in America under the age of 50 or 60 would be drafted. That means me. That means some of you other guys. Doesn't matter if I'm fucking disabled or not, they'll find fucking something for me to do. I will be drafted. Uh, and I'm not no draft dodger. I'm not going to Mexico or Canada. Well, maybe I should go to Canada and fuck crap the cat in the ass. Because that's what she's begging for. She's begging for some Rick Dick in her. Um, but every man, every able man would be drafted. If the draft was to come back. I, I, and I know that people have talked about this. If it happens. Now, the order as, as it goes, as I remember, you know, is the guys that are serving in the military right now. Get all those guys. Then the next thing would be the reserves, National Guards and shit like that. They go. Which we saw it happen in Desert Storm or the Afghan uh, Iraqi war that they were calling in the National Guard. If that starts depleting, the next thing is veterans. People have already served. They will fucking recall their asses back. If you are a veteran, go look at your contract, bitch, because you can be recalled back into the military. They would be calling. And then, so, then it would be every able body in America. Every, every person of fighting age would then be drafted. Ain't a fucking thing you can do about it unless you want to run to Canada or Mexico. After that, then they would be getting men or people or men or women out of the prison system. You, you want out of prison? You're going to join. So then that would happen. They did it in World War II. Um, and that's the order it goes. If World War III was to, was to happen. Now, I could get it wrong. Some of you bets, some of you motherfuckers that know it, you can correct me on it. So right now, what the threat is looming, and, you know, some of the vets are, are talking about it, uh, if shit goes down in the Middle East with Israel and what they're fucking doing, we're going to have to go out there. If, shit's get, if shit gets worse in Ukraine, and God forbid that they attack some of those bordering countries that are part of NATO, we're going to have to get involved in that shit. If China decides to fucking act up and starts um, attacking like, oh, not Cambodia, Vietnam, maybe Cambodia, I forgot what other country out there that China's trying to take their land. Japan, 
we're going to have to get involved. Uh, and it's funny. Vietnam actually supports the United States. There's no issue with Vietnam. As a matter of fact, what's funny is Vietnam is now one of our biggest allies in Southeast Asia, along with Japan. That's the crazy part. You can be American. You can go over there to Vietnam. They will love you over there because they love to talk about the country and the history. And they don't talk bad about the Americans there. They hold them in, in kind of high honor. Uh, and they'll show you the whole shit was the uh, the North Vietnamese Army. They'll, they'll show you through the tunnels. Uh, they, they got all kinds of cool shit. But they, Vietnam will treat you as welcoming arms. Even their old vets. Even their old communist vets that are out there. The NBA. Uh, and that's the funny part. Um, like Houston Houston has the highest um, Vietnamese citizens in the United States besides uh, California Houston does we also have a high concentration of Filipinos in the Houston area so we have Filipinos and Vietnamese I got friends that are Vietnamese I got no issue with them uh, they're good people now some of them were southern Vietnamese and they do not like the Russians because and I asked one guy who was a colonel in the South Vietnamese army I said hey how come you don't like them why are y'all fighting he said because of that motherfucker there I'm not in my homeland hey that's good enough for me so anyway I guess that's my rant for today I don't know why the fuck I'm going through this shit Oh, because of GR8 and that stupid motherfucker Justin and Dave. Uh, Dave, I invite you to my fucking house. I'm going to beat the living fuck out of you. You can take this as a threat. You can record it. You come to my house, I'm going to hurt you, dude. It's as simple as that. Just like with BTC. If I see you, I'm dropping you, dude. I'm not going to give you a chance. I'm sorry, dude. You fucked up by running your fucking mouth saying the most stupidest thing you could fucking say there, bedtime clown. But these motherfuckers ain't gonna come. All right, especially fucking King Nine. He runs his mouth too much. He's a child pedophile. What do you expect? It's just like COVID. COVID is a fucking racist. We all know that. COVID's another little coward who runs his mouth. Like Pac-Man. He's a fucking racist. And he's a fucking liar. Uh, What's funny is, he made a video about a month or two ago. His daddy was dying. His daddy was dying. Well, come to my house, bitch. Come on there, black boy. Uh, I'll kick your ass. And then, motherfucker, I'm going to put the rebel flag over your fucking body after I beat you. Pussy motherfucker. No basketball playing, bitch. Rich is one of them Alabama-born... Moon crickets that hate the rebel flag. I know a lot of black people in Alabama that sit there and fly the rebel flag proudly, bitch. Proudly. Unlike you, Rich, you sellout motherfucker. Anyway, uh, where was it going? Oh, COVID. Who's another fucking liar? He said a couple of my his daddy was dying. My dad's dying. My dad's dying. My daddy's dying. <laughs> Man, that's been what two, three months ago. His dad isn't dead yet. He keeps saying, oh, he's in the hospital. He, How long is the motherfucker going to stay in the hospital? I got to go visit my daddy. And he never does. He's always on a live stream. Oh, I got to work. I got to do this. Kobe is another motherfucker that is not right in the head. Just like King Nine. Just like Justin and GRA, just like fucking Connie, he's got mental fucking issues. Look, motherfuckers, I ain't perfect. I know I'm the mecca of manhood. I'm the lord of the plains. But I'm fucked up in the head too, motherfuckers. I'm homicidal. I never claimed 
trying to be perfect, even though all you women think I'm perfect. I'm just a man. I'm just an ordinary God. I'm just looking for love, ladies. That's it. Anyway. Uh, I'm going to cut this short. I'm going to watch a movie. I, I'm going to get shit done in the yard. These guys are working hard. Uh, anyway, the good news is it's pending. For, uh, the FEMA might pay me for a miscal... Mis oh, my God. Uh, miscellaneous items. So that's pending. I don't know if I'm going to get it or not, but maybe. I believe that is for, I don't know it's for the roof. Or to go buy a chainsaw or a generator. I, I'm not sure, guys. You like my bangs? Uh, well, thank you. Thank you. They are pretty sexy, right? They're all fucked up. I got, you can see where I grabbed the fucking scissors and went sideways with that shit. I'm trying to look like Katie. Uh, so anyway, uh, <coughs> that's the good news. I won't know uh, until 10 days from now, but they updated my application where that's pending. Uh, I, I, I didn't ask, if y'all remember, uh, I didn't say I lost any clothes or something else it's personal personal i oh and i i i didn't go to a hotel or, or motel to stay i stayed in the house so i didn't i didn't get uh, blah, blah, blah. i didn't i did not get approved for that i did not get approved to be reimbursed for uh staying at a motel or hotel i didn't get uh reimbursed for losing any furniture because i didn't and i told the lady i didn't i said the mattress got wet that was it which hopefully maybe let's see June, July, August maybe by September I'll save up enough money and go buy me a brand new mattress or, or, or at least a used decent mattress um, but that's it I, I, I don't need anything else than that so anyway I'm gonna end this shit y'all have a happy Sunday go spend it with your loved ones I'm fixing a watch what am I watching? Oh, so I'm going to watch. This is what my lineup is for today. I'm going to watch The Lost World. I'm going to watch Jurassic Park. I'm going to watch uh, Cowboys and Aliens. And then I'm going to watch The Mummy. That is my Sunday. That is what I'm going to do. And enjoy my Sunday. And just sit here and watch movies. That's it. Try to relax. Anyway. Y'all have a good one, motherfucker.